Hello everybody on Facebook, all my friends. It's Monday morning. My name is Ben Swicegood, coming to you from the Uplifting Place. Motivational Monday. It's Monday. It's the start of your week. What up, Brian? We're going to have a great week today. Positivity coming out to you this morning. Motivational Monday. Let's get into this. Today, I want to talk about a subject of enjoy life. Enjoy life life and I've been talking and thinking about this for quite some time and uh, it's always one of my goals is to try and enjoy life more but that's not always easy with work and stress and children and uh, drama and relationships and just everything that the world throws at us all these different things that we go through all these different things that happen to us throughout just one course of a day it's sometimes hard to enjoy life this morning I read a quote, um, came across a quote that said this. It says, enjoy this moment, for this moment is your life. Enjoy this moment, for this moment is your life. What if you took just this moment, just this moment that we're at right here. Hey, Tammy, what if you took just this moment right now and thought of it as your life? Would you enjoy it or would you stress out about it? Would you enjoy it or would you worry about what you have to do today? Would you enjoy it or would you hate it? Enjoy this moment. Life is short. Life is but a vapor, the Bible says. Life is, is maybe just a moment, one big moment in the big realm of things. It doesn't seem like it. Moments are, are defined as short periods of time. But what if this short period of time to us is actually our whole life to someone else. Moments. We gotta enjoy moments. We gotta we gotta cherish them. Today we're talking about enjoying life. Cherishing those moments. It, oh how good it is when you have that moment. You know what a moment is when, when something happens and you're just like, wow, that was a moment. And you cherish that moment right then. But what if you could cherish it forever? What if your whole life was nothing but just a moment that you cherish? What if you look at today as a moment and cherish it, not stress or worry or overwork it, but just cherish it? Moments. You know, I'm guilty of this, uh, but I like to work. I have multiple jobs, as most of you know, and I work seven days a week. Um, I get a little bit of time off um, in the evenings, but... Some evenings I'm working, so I'm working a lot. Uh, you would call it maybe a rat race. Maybe you just work a nine to five, but then you have a part-time job or you're working overtime or either way, you're in a rat race, right? And you're working and then you're picking up the kids and then you're doing dinner and then you're putting the children to bed and then you gotta work on something for your job or for school, maybe you're in school or that's when you go to your part-time job and then you get up the next day and you repeat the process. It's a rat race, they call it a rat race. You're working, you're working, you're working, and you justify working so much because you're providing for your family, right? You justify being in that rat, rat race and working so hard because you're providing a future financially for your family. And we can justify it, and we can justify overworking, and we can justify missing the soccer games, and we can justify missing the dance recitals, and we can justify missing the school events. We can justify it because we're working for our family. We're working for our future, right? Come on. We can justify it. But what we're missing is the moments. We're missing the moments. And we're not enjoying life. Why work so hard if you can't enjoy what you're working for? Why work for your family if you can't even enjoy the... Uh, Why work so hard for your family if you can't even enjoy time with your family because you're working so hard? This is, this is for me because I want to work and I want to provide and I have this goal and these dreams that I want to provide for my family and I want to get us to a certain point. But am I putting that before them? Am I putting that before enjoyment? Am I putting that before cherishing the moments? Am I missing moments? Is life just one big moment and I'm missing it because I'm working so hard for a future goal or dream that I'm not enjoying the present moment? Wow. Moments. Why work 
so hard if you can't enjoy who or what you're working for. That was for me. We got to enjoy life now. This is not a rehearsal. Enjoy life now. This is not a rehearsal. This is no dress rehearsal. This is life. This is your life. This is your one shot at being on this earth and enjoying everything that God has created. This is your moment. This is your life. We got to stop throwing it away, worrying and stressing and overworking. Man. Yesterday I was um, doing a sound gig at a dance rehearsal every year. I'd, uh, I'd do the sound for this dance group. I mean, at this dance studio um, at Henrico Theater. And it was a great time. There's all these um, young children out there dancing and, and just having fun. And as I was sitting there working and sitting there making sure I'm playing the right tracks and turning up the mic if needed and, and doing all these things and I have a headset on and I'm being cued when to play music and they're cueing the lights and all this stuff and I'm working. But at one point during it, I looked at it differently. I didn't look at it as a duty or a job. I looked at it as a dance recital that I had the pleasure of enjoying moments in. And so there was one particular moment that happened that if I hadn't have been paying attention and been open to enjoying the dance recital instead of just being so disciplined on working, I would have missed this moment. And it was a great moment. These little girls were out there tap dancing. I'd say they were maybe four years old, maybe even younger, real little, just barely tapping their little feet and then jumping up and tapping and moving and going back and going forward. And this one of one of the four girls that was out there, her shoe came off. And so it was cute. She stops and she sits down and she puts her little shoe back on and she jumps back up and gets right back into the movement. And everybody thought it was great and everybody was enjoying it. And then it happened again. Her shoe came off again. And this she sits down and you can see a little bit of frustration and a little bit of of uh, de determination and in, in the look on her face. And she's putting that shoe back on and she's so trying to hurry and so wanting to get it back on so she can get back in the dance. She jumps back up, she starts dancing again, and the crowd's starting to cheer. They're like, they're loving this girl because she is determined to do this dance. She's not gonna let a shoe fall and off stop her. She's gonna keep going. She's gonna put that shoe on and keep getting it and keep dancing and having a good time. And as this, this dance was about to end, the dancers go back and then they, they start to run forward to make their final like exit, to make their final uh, move or whatever. And they're, they're running forward. This girl's shoe falls off again, and she falls down. And another girl almost hits her, trying to get up to the front. And at this point, the girl just is like, okay, forget it. And she just kind of falls over and just puts, just gives off this great laugh and this great, like, smile. And it was this huge moment. And it was great. The crowd cheered. The crowd went wild. And, and, and as I'm having a daughter in a couple months, it hits me because... That could be my daughter. And if I'm so focused on working and so focused on my dreams and my goals and, and, and doing all these things, I could have missed that moment. And it, it was a precious moment that everybody there saw and the crowd erupted and people gave them a standing ovation and all the other girls didn't know why everybody was cheering louder for them than anybody else that night but they just screamed and just smiled and laughed. These little four-year-old girls had a moment because this little girl didn't let a shoe stop her from enjoying herself and her dance, and she was determined to finish her dance and have her moment. We're talking about moments, enjoying life. Enjoy this moment, for this moment is your life. So that's all I have for you today. I need to get out of here. This is hitting me too hard. Enjoy the moments. Oh, we got to enjoy life and enjoy the moments. You're here to enjoy this great world, this great day, this great sunshine, this great somewhat weather, depending on how who you ask. We got to enjoy life. Enjoy all that God has given you. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your children. Enjoy your job. It's for a moment. You're, think of your job as a moment, not a duty. What moments can you have today that you can enjoy, even at work, even at school? Think of today as a big moment and enjoy it. Once again, my name is Ben Swice Good. Please like, share, comment on these videos so more people can see them. I do these motivational Mondays 
every Monday. This has been Swice Good signing off. I'll see you next time.